lot of these seed and soil borne diseases need residue to survive in the field and by going to continuous cropping and going to a, a more of a soil conservation practice, it really sets the stage uh, for impact on stand establishment due to the early infection at planting. We've identified a couple of diseases that are very important. Um, one is uh, Fusarium uh, in the prairies and because of the residue in the field it provides an opportunity if the conditions at harvest are good that we'll get an airborne infection on the seed and so when you harvest that seed um, it now has a, a, an infection on the seed so when you look at Fusarium it can impact germination particularly uh, it can cause seed rot uh, but it also can really decrease the vigor of that seedling so planting into cooler soils and so on with Fusarium on the seed really does impact the, the vigor of that plant. So looking at that disease, uh, we also know that Pythium is becoming a bigger problem because they love these cool, wet soils that we're, we're planting into. Um, and then of course, Rhizoctonia also is impacting not so much the pre-emergence damping up, but more the overall health of the, of the plant. By looking at all the different options that we have, we've developed a new seed treatment for cereals. Uh, and it's going to be called Quattro Formulations that we have with the fungicide. And in that, in that formulation, we've taken our best fungicide packages that are the best on those diseases and put them all together to give us one uh, ready to apply premix formulation for the growers to put on the seed. And what we've found with that particular uh, combination is excellent control of all those diseases and very consistent performance uh, when it comes to stand establishment in cereals. Thank you.